Mm. Oh, man. This channel is endo this episode is endorsed by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I wish. Man, Dr. Pepper's good. Anyway, good morning everyone. And welcome back to another Pal Plays Pikmin or PPP. Yesterday, aka 2 days ago, we uh crash landed on this planet and found the mysterious life form that we named Pikmin or rather Captain Olimar named them Pikmin and they seem to be his only hope of escaping from this planet. So in this episode, we'll go to the new area that we discovered, the Forest of Hope, and hope to get four ship parts today. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do it. My guess is we're going to be able to get three, hopefully. So let's try. Okay, let's jump on in. And let me explain that there is a time limit, so things are going to happen fast. The days of Pikmin are 13 minutes long, so the episodes are going to be shorter. I'm going to be doing one day per episode. So with that said, let's land, bro. <laughs> the Forest of Hope. Or shall I say, The Forest of Hope. Whenever I played the game as a child, I would always whisper that, because it just, it's so cool, it shows that that name there it's like the forest of hope it's so ominous it's just cool i love it my dolphin has returned to the surface along with the pick the pikmin's onion being alone on the strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy so I, I shall call the pikmin out of the onion all i need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press a so let's go ahead and do that and i'll explain what these three numbers mean the top number is how many Pikmin are in the onion. The left number is how many Pikmin are in the field. And the right number, the bottom right number, is how many Pikmin we have in our group. So if we drag that down, if we hold down, we can withdraw, as it were, 25 Pikmin. And you really want to withdraw as many as you can. There's really no excuse to have less than as many Pikmin as you can in the field. So... Starting off this day, uh, this is going to go a little bit fast. We're going to go ahead and throw one Pikmin onto that grass. Don't ask why. I will explain it in a second. And we're going to throw the Pikmin onto the pellet posies. And one more. And the rest of them are going to go onto this gate. This bramble gate. And while they are working on that, these Pikmin will be picking grass why they're picking grass, I'll explain. You might have seen at the corner of the screen, uh, one Pikmin had drunk something called nectar. Which, well, not called nectar. It is nectar. He drank the nectar, and now he has a flower on his head. This flower will allow Pikmin to, be, to run faster and carry things faster. So, you really want to do that for all your Pikmin. You, you really, you really want to have them drink nectar. It's like monster, which... I recently just said that this channel's endorsed by it, but it's actually not. But it's like monster, except it's permanent. So, like, who wouldn't want a permanent monster? Now, these Pikmin are already well on their way to de destroying this gate. So, probably a couple more seconds and they'll tear it down. So, first off, you'll see those enemies over there. Those are dwarf red bulborbs. They are... they're sort of like the Goombas of... Get up! the Goombas of the series, and they are the easiest enemies. There's nothing more than that. Also, our whistle's freezing in place, so it's kind of pretty. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to de determine the strengths and peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. So, with, an, with most of our, flower, our Pikmin being flowers, let's go and defeat our first enemy of the game. It is a Dwarf Red Bulborb. You, th you can fight them normally, or you can throw a Pikmin on top to instantly kill it. And, Grant, you probably want to instantly kill it, unless you like a challenge. But if you want a challenge, you don't need to fight Dwarf Bulborbs. So, just go ahead and insta-kill it. Yeah, help your buddy. There you go. Go there, and go there. 
Go there. Go there. Hey, thank you. Is my remote not responding, or is it just Pikmin 1 being strange? I don't know. So you're going to go ahead and take care of these pellet posies so that you can get some Pikmin from them. That's that's fine. Uh, there's two right here, which I didn't get at the time, which I don't know why. There and there. Or there. Okay. Now, uh, you'll see a big door bulborb over there. That is a spotty bulborb. And you'll notice also that I threw Pikmin kind of faster than I should have. I mean, I kind of threw them really fast. If you swarm the Pikmin around the Olimar with the C stick while throwing them, they, you can throw them faster. You Well, you can throw more in a short amount of time. Come on. No, we lost our first Pikmin. That was not supposed to happen against the easiest enemies in the game. Man, that really stinks. Okay, anyway. We can't carry anything, so let's go ahead and get our Pikmin back. And go ahead and pluck all of these, because we're going to need them. Uh, what do we have here? 40? That should be enough. Now, that that spotty bulborb is guarding a ship part. Now, you can kind of sequence break in this and the Wii version, and get a part when you're not really supposed to. So, that will be our first part, even though the game doesn't really... didn't really intend for that to be our first part. Just, but it's just so we can get it ahead of the collection curve, me using Magic the Gathering terms, and yeah, so we're going to collect a ship part. We're going to do it by throwing Pikmin on top of this ledge. Once again, if you swarm Pikmin, Olimar will throw them much faster than he normally does. And there they are. Now, you don't want to be close to this because... In a failed recording of this episode, one of the, uh, t three of them actually, jumped, or two, I don't know, just jumped in the water. They just wanted to take a swim, and it killed them. And that was really pitiful. So, yeah, they, they were not good Pikmin, like these guys are. This batch is good. These guys did the, did their homework. Okay, so... You want to uh, throw all the Pikmin onto this guy from behind, and once again, you can either swarm him with the C-Stick, or you can rapid-fire them. I like rapid-firing them better. I think it's just safer. And we didn't lose one. So let's go ahead and throw ten onto this guy. One, two, there. <laughs> there. Okay, there's ten. And let's go ahead and find the Shock Absorber. This apparatus counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing with this in place, usually. So let's go ahead and swarm this. This requires 30 to carry. And let's go ahead and grab him. Come on. And while they're carrying that, actually, let's make this happen faster and throw two here. That'll, that'll make things happen more quickly. And let's go pluck these Pikmin to k take care of those little those dwarf bulborbs while we're waiting for the stuff to come back. And we have four. Okay. Zoom out, camera. Thank you. Get over here. Good boy. Okay, so we can do... Oh, we have just enough to carry this. This little dwarf. And this pellet posy. So while they're doing that, let's head back because those Pikmin are almost there. And we can pick them up pick up the uh, 52 there's one and there's our ship part which will allow us to grab the 40 more Pikmin shock absorber this nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying experienced in typical space flight I've now recovered two of 30 parts if I can find just three more I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities now um you, what you want to do is you want to put maybe let's see oh I was oh I was wrong about these numbers okay so apparently the number on the left shows how many you're putting in or taking out so let's go ahead and put in 12 don't ask me why yet but it is important that we do let's go ahead and pluck these guys as well Quickly, Olimar, quickly, quickly, Olimar, quickly, love you, man. Just move faster. And 
He's almost there. Two more. And let's go. Just camera zoom out, please. There we go. So, you can send 10 on that, which I'll do a little bit later. Actually, no, I won't. Because we, we could use that. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill this guy. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must play close, pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So, it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and su day display, which I haven't explained before. At the tomet... To the tomet? <laughs> At the tomet <laughs> are my spacesuit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left, there are numbers... Th these numbers reflect Pikmin under my command, Pikmin in the field, and total Pikmin in existence. To adjust the mon my monitor, I can press L, so stuff we've learned before. Okay, so let's swarm this guy again. Okay, don't, don't kill any, don't kill any, don't kill any, good. Okay, now let's not set them on him. Let's go ahead and throw one Pikmin here. And with the rest, you saw a ship part in the, in the corner. We'll get that in a second. But you want to take down this grate. Okay, he's over there. Now, while this is happening, you want to head back. You work. Okay, you want to head back and pluck the Pikmin that are remaining and use them to get the 10 pellet posy. Okay, are there 10 at, at base? I think there are, just barely. One, okay, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just enough. Oh, wait, no, we're short one. But this guy will be our 10th. Come here. Good boy. Okay, we'll have him carry back the 10 pellet posy, and I'll explain the sun meter. The sun meter basically is just a, a track that the sun goes on that'll show your progress through the day. Okay, they are done. Let's go ahead and have them kill this dwarf. Now, come on, kill him. There we go. Uh, the the dwarf bulborbs, when they're near a spotty bulborb, are actually kind of dangerous because they will call out to him and tell him, uh, alarm him of our presence. So they're kind of dangerous and mean and jerkish. So anyway, let's, let's just rapid fire these guys, and we'll kill him. Yes, it will. Okay, now, what we want to do is we want to dismiss these guys. Get up. Get up. Get over here. Thank you. Dismiss them over here. They'll just do that, and while they're doing that, we'll see what this thing is. It looks familiar. It looks like an onion, and it is. It is a yellow onion. And it will spit out a seed, just like the last one did. And if it will sprout, we can pluck it. it. We can pluck it. If it sprouts, there we go. There we go, punching the air. And we'll see a yellow Pikmin. And Olimar will say what this guy is all about. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this, is, this one has what in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter. They are obviously quite similar, so I, call, I, will, I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. So, with this Pikmin, you want to have him start... Um, start reproducing, I guess? Immediately. So, have him set him on the pellet posies. Sorry about the sniff there. I have allergies. I've said it before. And grab this guy, throw him back, and while he's doing that, let's go ahead and pluck the Pikmin, the new Pikmin, and send them to work on this. And yeah, there we go. And we'll pluck the new Pikmin. Now, I'm leaving this little red guy because he's obviously helping out. He's our buddy. So he's going to help out these yellow Pikmin. Also, also, I should explain, now that we have two colors of Pikmin, what would happen if you set two different colors of Pikmin on a dead bulborb so that they carry it to the onion? How that works is whoever, whichever color is carrying the, uh, the uh, item and there are more of that color, that will be the color that will get the item, basically. So that's how it works. And while the onions are spread out right now, they won't be spread out later, so you don't have to worry about going from onion to onion. Go ahead and carry that, 
and carry this. There you go, and carry that. And carry this. There you go, we're doing very well. We have a kind of a rhythm going down. Now, while they're doing that, I'm actually going to grab these Pikmin and set as many as I can on this Bulborb and the ship part. Uh, go ahead and dismiss them and whistle just the red Pikmin. Okay, go ahead and grab that, guys. Grab that. Thank you. Grab that. Thank you. Now get over here. Ah, grab it. Sheesh. Okay, come here. Get over here. Thank you. Okay, we have just enough to grab to discover the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has an unlimited su energy supply. It wa won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. Or, I won't. It will make my, fli my fight for survi survival a bit easier. Now, one of the reasons why I'm sending these Pikmin back, and I am 10 short. Man. Okay, uh, let me grab these real quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We need to get as many yellow Pikmin today as possible. So, whistle. Now, when they carry things back to the base, they... Um, at the end of day, basically, we have to have all of our Pikmin with us or at the base, or they will die. So... The story with that is that they... Okay, uh, yeah, when they're over 100 Pikmin, or when the total reaches 100 Pikmin in the field, they will just continue to reproduce, but they'll they'll be created inside the onion. But you can only have 100 Pikmin out in the field at a time. So anyway, okay, pick that up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. No, no. Pick it up. Thank you. Okay, you guys yellows. Okay, anyway, um... So, if they're at the base, they'll be safe. Okay, you, got, you guys are here. Let's go ahead and set you guys on the bull board because that's all that's left. Okay, go ahead and do that. Now, I didn't get all the progress that I wanted, but I got more than I did in the failed episode that I mentioned earlier. Hopefully, I've explained everything as well. So, I'm happy. We still might be able to do a little bit. So, let's go ahead and pluck these guys. And then, what we can do with these yellow Pikmin is that they have a unique ability. They can pick up these little rocks that you see over here. So they go and pick those up. They'll cheer, and they'll pick them up. Now, you can already tell that they're glowing orange, and that is scary. The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. What? Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But just what are these gl strange glowing stones? P uh, brightly growing cracks cover them. Perhaps the, the cracks indicate there's tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. Now, they don't explain it any further than that if you take these... Uh, yeah, I get it. Okay, if you take these scary Pikmin... Man, these are scary. And throw them on this at this gate. Oh, boy. Hopefully they won't die. Uh, hopefully this freezes time so that they don't die. We'll get the Eternal Fuel Dynamo, our second part today. It will light things up. No more candles for Olimar. There we go. And we have gathered... We have gathered... Oh. Uh, we've gathered three parts. So we're third through the game. Yay! This, is, this actually is a short game. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin have picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know what these stones can be used at they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. The Pikmin I dismiss by pressing X bring their bombs when I call back when I call them. Pikmin I throw by pressing A drop their bombs when I call them back. Keep clear of the explosion. When I touch Pikmin directly, they keep their bombs and fall in line. This is very important to remember, because otherwise you can kill all of your Pikmin. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab these, our bombers. Our bomber, bomber men. Throw them on here. Now let me explain that these silvery rock gates can only be d destroyed with bomb rocks. And also they um, only take three bomb rocks to destroy. So that's that's something that's pretty neat. So, now that we've gotten this stuff, we're actually pretty set. 
We didn't get four parts, but really, only speedrunners get four parts. Only people who really practice this game do that. And I don't profess to be a professional at this game. Let's go ahead and pluck as many as we can before zero comes. One. Probably one more. And zero. Another one. And we'll bring them back. And don't worry, the yellow ones will be sent back to their, to their onion. So... <laughs> I talked a lot this episode. It was almost solid talking. Oh, I can't wait till we get to the point where I don't really have to explain all the mechanics of the game. And that we can just focus on what's going on. Not really, you know, how important the first few days are to getting, putting the right foot forward. So, whew. We did really well. So let's see our day's progress. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can recover par the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet, there seems to be many hostile lifeforms here. If I'm attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. Thank you, Olimar. So, we we actually made great steps towards our population. We lost one Pikmin, which I kind of regret because that was to one of the weakest enemies of the game, but we did very well. We, we gained more Pikmin than, than we lost. We sprouted 107 Pikmin today. We, um... Yeah, we multiplied our... Yeah, wow. We multiplied our population of total Pikmin by 10. And at the cost of one Pikmin, that's pretty good. So, we have three ship parts. We have 27 parts remaining and 28 days to get them in. We have 90 red Pikmin and 34 yellow. And tomorrow, we'll return to the Forest of Hope and... Hopefully get some more parts. We took out those gates, so we already have a start. We already started. I'll see you guys next time. Or I'll see you guys tomorrow. For another Pal Plays Pikmin. Save.